Listen, we back at home. We were just away messing with this guy. He was at UED. Anyway, friends, how was your weekend? My weekend was fun. I see you in California. Yeah. Cali. My shirt. Came back black. Okay, okay. Black. Extra black. Yeah, man, you gotta catch a tan out there in, the, in, in LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was on my beach every State. day, just like. Mm. People, how you doing? Man, I'm doing great, bro. Why are you starting to wear glasses? Look, you start to see, you see, he starting to wear glasses like me. And bro? listen, man, cut it out, bro. I like to wear I glasses time to time. You time. got these bright ass light here, you know. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's like glasses don't shade, gonna go, they gonna work today. The light is extra bright. That's because we our future's bright. You feel that? Like, like that. Like that. Bam. Anyway, we got a special guest. Yes, we do, man. What's poppin'? We got entrepreneur. We got on the spot, pull up. <laughs> I'm talking about get you lined like, up. Pull up like, pull up on me? Pull up on you. Yeah, yeah. Celebrity barber. Man, what's going on, dog? What's up, what's up? Hey, man. Thank, welcome to the show, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks hey, for listen, coming. Man. I'm doing great, my brother. Listen. Thank you. Great to meet you. I see it. I caught him on the ground. I, I'm like a, I'm like a talent scout. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm around the ground. Like, so, hold on, what's going on over here, man? We got to get this dude on the podcast. He going crazy. Damn right. How was your day, Walter? Long, tired, and running around. Really? And all that white, you clean the hell? What are you? Look like you was at the. He, he, he's so white, like you was at the uh, 4th of July party in California. Oh, hey. hey. You need hey. to go to LA. You been to LA before? Never been to LA. Oh, man. oh yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. go. Yeah. I went for my first time about a month ago, and I'm like, why? In my whole life have I not been there? What? You gotta go. Oh, yeah, you need to go. It's a vibe. But anyway, the way we do this day in Memphis is uh, we have a round table of questions, uh, and then we we get into you. So friends, go ahead. What we got going on? Okay, so we want to get into the little baby. He goes viral with a hilarious take on Brazilian butt lift. He want to know like why women getting. Brazilian butt lifts, but Maybe he. Maybe want to know that. Yeah, but he. I don't know exactly like why he want to no, know no, that. No, no, he made a statement that uh, he think that it's cool. He's saying it's natural if you say things that you take from your stomach and put on your butt. He said that's still considered natural because it's your body. And some people agree, some people don't agree. What's your then they was that? talking about how the guys are doing the same things now. Really? Doing yeah. What? yeah. They're, they're they taking their fat. I heard about that. Taking their fat and filling it. What? In. Filling in where? Like where? they thighs, yeah. they butt. They what do I can see what, yeah, gay guys? Yeah, we talking, gay, about, we yeah. talking about regular guys or gay guys? I mean, it's both. Muscle both guys. guys. Some guys I get muscles. Yeah. Somebody get like they, they get I guess it's your money, right? You can do what you want. Yeah. I don't know about that. I'm not. Would you do it? Nah. <laughs> it just, it's just it's <laughs> called a uh, yeah. It's a it's a body enhancement. Mm, yeah. So like I'm I'm gonna get my stomach done. You gonna get your stomach? Your stuff? No, I need my stomach to be like this Why? big. Uh, you see you see Small. No, no, no. Stand up for the people. Stand up. I don't know why you just I agree, because you we stand need Stand up for the people. I want she wanna she wanna get snatched you for what? Your I need to get my stomach. Nah, nah. Nah, cuz my, 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 my problem my problem is Snatch. Why the women who look not good yet, yet. wanna continue to be up under the knife? Continue. That's the real question, bro. That might be a good question. Why? Why? And have you ever been under the knife? No, but uh, in September, I am. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk you out of it, no way. Nope, I already told Damn. y'all that. You're going to be missing from the show for a couple weeks? No, I'm weeks. not. We're going to do extra tapings. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. What's next? Okay, um, let's get into... His name is Edward Connie Matthews, removed from his home in handcuffs by the Mount Laurel, Mount Laurel police following the racist riot. He, he had went to like a... African American guy house and he was outside the home okay. and they told him like several times like stop coming here stop coming on the block so he refused to mm-hmm. stop coming to the man house so they called the police nothing wasn't done so then I guess everybody around the neighborhood black people yeah, white people came from all them. over and then they went back to the house with the police and they played the music bring him out bring him out wow. <laughs> bring him out bring him out video, and he really was came outside like he was ready but he didn't know he was gonna get arrested. He thought they was gonna be on his side. What did he get arrested for though? I, I, some people were saying that he gonna. They just wanted to make sure he was safe. I don't know. Nah, no. No. Like, right, so okay. 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 Go for it. The nigga went over to them four houses. Not the nigga, but the white boy. Yeah. Went to them four houses. You know what I'm saying? Disrespecting them, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So home was like, look, man. Whatever, whatever. And then you know, I guess the white boy fucked around and put his uh the address out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He told me. Pull, pull up! up. Pull up! <laughs> <laughs> pull up! Yeah, pull up! And got them. 
Yeah, that's when the, yeah. the whole video thing came I'm out. I'm, I'm sorry. Straight I'm up. Throwing shit at home. Sorry. I wouldn't have needed no whole crew, bro. You give me the address, bro. It's just me and that's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. That's that's it. The whole, like the whole city pulled up on me. That was Damn. good, though. That's yeah. good, though, because racism actually needs to be. Yeah, because it kept going on. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. he just kept coming back to the house. Nah, that's crazy. And it wasn't. It was he was talking to the landlord. That was his house. Oh, so it wasn't even the, the um the tenants. It was the the tenant had told them about a neighbor. Wow. And the landlord came by like, can you leave them alone? Right, right. So it was actually the landlord that was outside of the home, like protecting them from keep right. going to their front. That's crazy. So yeah. Well, I, I would give the white guy some credit for having heart. He had some heart to put that hand on something. That boy say pull up. You know what I mean? In real life. Uh, that's crazy. crazy. Because he he said he read the law, so he thought it that. But what I, I seen somebody do like an air dump, water splash. That they was, was, was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Fuck you, white man, whoever you are. I'm sorry. Oh my anyway, god. Yeah, to get that off his chest. Yeah, I did. Right, right, okay, okay. Mick, Mick, Mick most tried to fight Travis Scott at a billionaire party in July the fourth in um, California. It was an all white party. For what? They did not fight. Meek oh, Mills tried fight. to fight him. I don't know. Like, who y'all they, think, who you think will win on that? Travis Scott has security, <laughs> so I don't think they're going to come that close. Meek Mills and Travis Scott? I'm on Meek. Huh? I'm on Meek. Man. You got it. Of course. Like, Travis Scott, it's like he going to do, like, karate or something. He's from what? Texas, man. What? What? Travis, Travis Scott from Texas. Y'all man, don't know keep sleeping on that man. He's from the South now. Keep sleeping oh, on that. Oh, Travis Scott? He's from Texas. Yeah, but but... Besides that, though, like, listen, you I just, guy. Who would you put your money on? Well, that's what I'm about to say. Besides that, I didn't seen tape of Meek Mill hitting the bag, and it don't look good, bro. Oh, yeah. You remember that tape? You ain't seen it? Oh, they got video of that. Hey, Ivan, I, mean, I wish you could put that video of Meek Mill hitting the bag, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's during weak. post-production. Yeah. Bro, that shit weak, Well, bro. Meek just should just stick that to shit uh, riding dirt well, okay, bikes and so why music. why they fighting, though? Like, did they, they didn't say why they was trying to No, they they, you know they ain't getting to all that. Damn, that's great. We got to we got to be continued on the information because I got to find out what that was about. It's going to come out. Yeah, academics all over. You know academics and me, they don't like each other. Anything on me. <laughs> yeah, so he, he going that's crazy. Though. They must, who got an album? Okay, that's the real question. Who got an album coming out? Ah, uh, you think we got an album coming out? Yeah. Think about it. Everybody yeah. do that Same shit to promote. Business, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Good video. Yeah, Same yeah. Same thing, bro. We get, we get caught up in the blah, 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 but somebody, somebody needs some attention. Somebody needs some, yeah, they want to make press. They need somebody to talk about them. They ain't making no numbers. They ain't doing no numbers. So what we got going on in sports today? Man, shit, bro. Y'all see the finals. Uh, you know, we got the finals game two le- tonight, right? Yeah. Y'all been paying attention? Falcons, man. Falcons. Salute to the Falcons. For, you know, they dig. Falcons? You mean the Hawks. The Hawks. The Hawks. The Hawks. The Hawks. The Hawks. Look, yeah. <laughs> it's still sad. They both sad. <laughs> yeah, man. But they did their thing. They did their thing. So it's over with already? The no. Hawks are done. But now Hawks we got the finals finals. We got what? Milwaukee and Phoenix? Milwaukee and Phoenix, man. Phoenix 1-1, one, one, right? Phoenix up. Yeah, and Chris Paul, that old ass nigga, he doing his motherfucking. He, he balling, man. Boy, what? You ain't been paying attention. He came back, dropped 40 piece on him up. You lying. I'm not lying, nigga. That was that's the final hard. game. Yeah, final that's game. Yeah. Right, yeah. So this you know, game. Old man. I like all the old man guys. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to Chris Paul. That's what I wanted to say, man. You know, he went to, uh, he went to Carolina School College. What was that? Uh, Wake, what, Wake Forest? Wake Forest. Yeah, so I'm a Carolina boy. I'm Who a- think going to win that, bro? In a series. Milwaukee, uh, I'm going to UFC. Yeah. Woo! Oh, he ain't just say UFC. You ain't say UFC, bro. That's that's what we watch, watch, bro. Yeah. 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 Conor McGregor got a fight coming up. That's another sports topic. Yeah. This weekend. Really? This weekend, yeah. Who we fighting? That dude that knocked him out in the last game. Last time they fought. Talk to you a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you said uh, Conor McGregor? That's going to be dope. Yeah, Conor McGregor. You... Oh, the dude that knocked him out? Yeah, that's it's a point. Yeah, it's a rematch. He said, fuck that shit. Oh, that's <laughs> he said, for that shit. Mm-hmm. You're, you're a UFC guy. McGregor, I think he got some proof. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. He just so rich, though, man. God. That, my problem Damn. is, I think his hunger gone. I actually think, think he's probably going to get his ass again because, again, he worth $100 million, man. No, he's you know not. not. He worth more than that. Yeah. He sold his he sold his liquor company for three hundred million, four hundred million, half of his liquor company. So most times the homeless fighters they they be winning. Unless you're Mayweather. Mayweather, you, Mayweather is an anomaly, right? Yeah, Mayweather is. Oh, Javante Davis. He's a, oh, oh Javante. Oh my God. Oh my God. Take what? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Take a beat. 
What we got, friends? I'm a friend, but friends, friends, what you think about boxing? <laughs> I just go. To, I just go to look at the guys. Yeah, um, we, you just go to do what? Just go look at the guys. Who gonna awesome get knocked man, out? Man. And it'd be a lot of people, man. I'm telling you, yeah. real fights. Yeah, all stars come out. It's actually fun. Say what? Yeah. So what's next? So uh, do we? Should we get into him now? Yes, what's let's up? get straight into him. Let's get into my big homie, Memphis. Okay. So Memphis, you are uh, a barber, right? Yes, I am. What else you do? Talk about some other accolades. I mean, outside of just supporting my kids, you know, through football and boxing, and, you know. Are you a sports guy? Yeah, I'm off six years ago, kickboxing. Wow. You got footage? Man, back in my day, we didn't have no, uh, no YouTube. Or, <laughs> you know, it was just VHS or. You know, <laughs> what was your record? I was 14 and 1. 14 and 1? Yeah, my last Damn. Year, my so you translate that to the, your kids. You got them now. That's good. You look at them. Real problem. These knees ain't ain't ain't, ain't <laughs> be no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And where you from? Memphis. I heard the I heard the accent. Yeah. We say man, we say man, hey man, man, you know, South Memphis. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how long you been in Atlanta? Twenty. Twenty years. Yeah. You from Atlanta? Now? Nah. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, anything over five years, bro. <laughs> oh, you definitely yeah, can rap Atlanta. Twenty years. But you go back and forth. His name Memphis, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Sure mm -hmm. so this whole celebrity barber thing, like, like how did that all come about? Like, I'm pretty sure how long you been cutting. I've been cutting since I was 13. Um, how this all celebrity barber thing started? I actually started dealing with a dude named Blockbuster. Blockbuster who? Blockbuster. Okay. Yeah, from Spain. I met a dude named DJ Swamp as well. Okay. You know, B103, uh, Mr. Blue Flame. Do they, do they constantly get their haircuts from yeah. you? Yeah. Like, hey, they, they regular barber. Nobody cheats on their barber, right? That's right. Yeah. But when you're coming from state to state, you know, they fly me out a lot. So, um, right now I'm dealing with Kyle Pitts. Okay. He's going to draft pick for the Falcons. I've seen that, man. So, you think you can get him to come on the show? <laughs> 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 and then my boy Dez is burnt, so, you know, I, I, I rock with Dez. Dez, he really your own. The, the, hey, the Dez goat. Uh, the, he want, he's doing it big right now. Very and, I, and I watched him like the rise. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Desi, you know Desi, right? Yeah, I know you know, I'm, Have you met him yet? No, I I'm just surprised. look on the internet. Yeah, she be out there. I'm surprised. I'm telling you, either. yo, but you know you be doing them skits. I don't know. Damn right. So let so, me ask you this: Has Desi put you in the skit? We working on that. We working on that. He needs to. Man, bro, I can't be out here cutting your hair, man. You don't put me on. <laughs> now he do give you clout, though, right? He doesn't do that. Okay, I got one question. Does having celebrity barbers get you regular clients? Does it does it boost yourself? I mean, I boost myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, a lot of celebrity stuff is really just for the gram. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, it, it, it promotes the gram, it follows and stuff like that. But but I mean, you can definitely charge more for the cut, though. No. You don't do it like that? What's, okay. your, what's your average cut? I usually try to put it off the record. This time I start. That's not bad. No. And you put it up or no? No. That's <laughs> and they need you to pull up. Yeah. Come here and cut my hair right now. Huh? That's not bad. So, you know what I mean? I do because this is what I really love to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't look we need him for uh, when we do the. Uh, the movie oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know what? Get everybody I, straight. I just forgot. I did see Desi at Boosie House. He in the movies. He doing the movies. So that was like a couple of weeks. I did meet him there. I it slipped my mind. I meet did so you many say people. Hello, shake his hand. Yeah, we was on the set because I got a part in Boosie movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Boosie got that movie about the comedians and shit. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's his son it. movie, MJ. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you give back to the community? Because we yeah. we, we, we about to do uh, this, um, to I just came back from Alabama not so long. I did a, um, a Sunday fun day down there. So a couple people down there, I gave back to the whole community. Just you just did free haircuts? All day. Wow. Um, Let's go. So I was doing a five city tour, but stuff kind of got in the way, so I couldn't do it. But no, I'm all about giving back. What you, what you mean five city tour? Like? I would go to five different cities and give a free haircut. Free haircut? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So you. I'm, I'm putting up. Well, we'll see when we come to it. I'm gonna put it up. That's what's 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 up
So, <laughs> That's crazy. I got a question. Okay, it's guys out here with like the lace front wigs, the toupees. So, do you apply those or do you like shake them up? <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> I didn't cut mine off, so. Yeah. Nah, you got to still got the love, nah, man. I'm going to go ball it again. Okay. Damn, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you ball, you ball, man. Embrace yeah. it, man. You know what I'm saying? Embrace it. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying? I've seen them all. Enhance your hairstyle and all that, but, I mean, if you ball, man. Let it go, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna, the thing they doing online now is amazing. Now, we're not lying. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen somebody, they shit was told. Uh, yeah, they like started. Now they Yeah. They, now like, they starting well, to put well, the well, colors well, in it and shit. Technology right now it is amazing. Yeah, that right. shit. Yeah. Do you add like to their bed? You know how some guys want to be lined up? Yeah. Do you give them like that extra spray, that beige uh, yeah, spray? Do they get fake fake mustache? I don't know about all that. I ain't never know. Ain't no telling shit like that. Now nah, here's what I did see on your page. You do a lot of color and stuff. <laughs> what inspired you to do that? Those designs are pretty dope, man. If you go on this page, you got all these different designs. Yeah. Um, I just love to draw. Yeah, but that, that takes art. Yeah. Um, so I did a couple bar dollars. Mm-hmm. And you know, and it was for design. You know, it's just I just like creativity. I like to look at something and just create. My own image or whatever you send me, or whatever you give me from me, I'm gonna go crazy. Right. All right. So listen, bro. Was you cutting hair like all through a uh, kickboxing and all that shit? Like, nah, I didn't do it there. I actually took a break from it. Um, you know, a lot of stuff happened back home. Yeah. So I had to let it go for it for the time being. So you say you took a break from that. So when did you start cutting hair? No, I was cutting hair since I was thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, yeah. Okay. So once I quit fighting in '05, I picked it back up and started back going hard with it. So what you started like in school and cutting your homeboy's hair and all that shit? Oh, well, when I started, my dad messed my head on. Mm. <laughs> After that, you know, dad is always inspired. So your daddy gave oh you a God. your daddy gave you a bow. Fuck my head. <laughs> yeah, we're well, like, what you know the what fuck? Saying? Nah, you can curse on this shit. Yeah, go off. Turn up. Nah, I'm you cutting my hair. No, we want to go back and cut your hair again. I, I, I won't do this. So, so <laughs> my dad owned a landscape company. Yeah. So all the money I used to make. Make it like go back to me. Yeah. It's called Super D's back home. You know, Super D George called it. Called little cheap ass corner clip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I used them just right there, and I was just going to make it clip and file. Wow. After that, I just kept on going with it. I never looked back. Wow, I ain't gonna lie, your line up to five. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, he said, he said, he looked on, he like, bro, you got it. Yeah. I ain't been to the bar in a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, both of y'all. You look a little touch. I said, you look a little, bro. He said, yo, we gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, y'all both need, y'all both the bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch them up. Touch them up. Damn. No. They need touch ups for real. I got a question. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I got a question. When you wasn't as good, Say when you first got started, when you met somebody here, how did you get now? Oh, great question, bro. Because I, I got some experience with that, that shit. When you fuck somebody here, like, how do you handle that shit? Time, I don't lie. A lot of times, I just use design to cover it up. I ain't gonna lie. Instead of me doing entire, I just go and put design. Yeah, I can say you put design and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh. Bro, listen, that's another thing. So, like, bro, I have horrible experiences with barbers my whole life. Yeah. You feel me? My whole life. Like, so I don't, I, I got used to cutting my shit like you did. He said, when your dad fucked your you like, man, fuck it. I might as well be the one. You know what? My my biggest thing is when I tell my barber I want the Rick Ross, keep my shit thick. Yeah. And man. they go low anyway, bro. Do you, do you, do you. Do you <laughs> hey, please do, tell me do you they pay attention you, and listen. What, do they say, which Rick Ross? Cause it's two Rick Ross. Bro, I don't care, bro. I tell them to keep my shit thick, bro. They be going down, bro. I don't know. I mean, my beard is a little, you know, Bob is like, I'm trying to catch that little. But what's going on? Do you keep the beard thick? Nah, I keep it. Whatever my client tell me to do, I do it. Um, yeah. If you Jesus high, Christ. You know, if you got a little circle that, we're going to try to figure that out and sure. get you through the, you know what I'm saying? But father, they like, like, make sure that everybody is getting there. I mean, yeah. If you cutting Desi Banks, yeah, yeah, yeah. you you gotta be like a great. Strong. Yeah, his yeah, head. his shit, his shit. When I see him, I see him like three different right. times. Yeah. Did you come to the set one day? Yeah. Okay, I knew that was you. Stand- you was beside me outside when Boosie was on the sofa. Oh well, now I had cut Grove Hero from my other partner. We was on, out on the back deck when I was cutting it, and then I did come to the set when they first started shooting. And I was way out in the, in the cut. My trouble was white back there. So yeah, I seen you. You were standing next to me. I knew you looked familiar. Oh, okay. So now y'all ain't running into each other. You had a backpack on. Yeah. See, that's how I knew all that. I remember you. I mean, remember, like. Man. I was looking like. Hey. Hey. Did you have a bag on, brother? Hey. No. 
ain't had okay, it on. I got a question. Do you wear your jewelry when you cut up? You know, okay. I thought you was a hip hop barber or something. Come on, like, yo, you got cameras everywhere. You ain't gonna push them. So you say you was at the Super Bowl, the last Super Bowl? Yeah. That's dope. That's crazy. Tampa Bay. That's his, his team. That's your team. Yeah. yeah. My young boys just signed to him. Uh, Elijah. Elijah Porter. How you be getting these sports stars? That was no but, question. You know, with them. Like, how you keep it out of getting out of here? His son's play sports, so he probably, like, all like in that shit. With them, them kids, I've seen them kids come up. And, and yeah. Them, like, young kids. You know, Before they came to the Yeah. Them kids want to give up. And I was like, nah, bro. Get out of Georgia. Go pursue your career, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he the neighborhood haircut I guy. Yeah. For hours, I ain't gonna lie, your barber is really your best friend. Bro, what? I tell my barber everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be really be here. You be here some real. Just like the ladies I in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna count, bro. What? Just my like the girls in the salon. Bar. Bar. Yeah. My barber, like he know a lot about me. For Just sure. like the girls in the salon. I know y'all beauty salon be lit with all kinds of stories. Everybody like, be in there with what well, uh braids. Tell them yeah. Tell them everybody got straight bags. Why don't we trust Bob? What's up with Bob? I can't because, man, at the end of the day, it's like y'all sanctuary. Yeah. Man. It's like this is our place of peace. I mean, all this shit going on out in the world. You ain't got to be Desi Banks. You can just be, you know, yourself. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. When you're at home or when you just in the barbecue, it's like forget about everything that's going on. Forget right. about what you did earlier in the day at work. Forget about what your kids do at your ass or whatever. It's just like. I'm home, you know. So just let me get all this shit out of my system. And when, when you get that haircut done, you be like, true. And then like when you out at certain events, you know you go see your barber. Oh, yeah. You excited? You in the chair? Man, I'm about to go. Yo, yo, yo yeah, yeah. I got. She catch all that. Man, catch, I got shorty lined catch, up. Catch when you sign. Going to a funeral. You catch all that, bro. As a barber, your barber really is your friend. Bro. Damn right. So I got a question. You said funeral. Have you ever cut somebody's head and passed away? Yeah. So um, like, was you I sad or? Um, when I do it. I mean, the other day, like I said, I just saw him out. Yo, got it on. <laughs> saw him out. Um, when I first initially did it the very first time, it, it kind of messed up a little bit. But it, I think it's more like when I don't know the person, it don't bother me to do it. But when I know somebody, that's when it really it touched me. It touched me more. Oh, like, yeah. you, 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 you actually go to the funeral? No, I never go to the funeral. All I do is go there, cut your head, and I'm gone. Yeah. Salute to you, man. Yeah, man. You, you out here. definitely got a home here, man. Anything you want to tell the people you got going on? Where can they find you? Yeah, definitely find me at Instagram. Uh, it's Memphis Master Ball. Uh, he got a sprinter van, too. I actually, like, outside right now, there's a sprinter van. He will literally pull up. On. Pull up pull on you. You got the fire. I'm telling you, bro. Like, you back here, he's a, uh, we got another guest. He's a celebrity real estate mogul. Y'all need to link up. Damn right. He'll pull up on you, bro. He fired. They fired. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, tell people what they find. Okay, y'all can find me on Instagram at Memphis Master Barber. You can just, hey, pull up on me. Or I'll pull up on you or however you want to do it. You know? So Memphis Master Barber, that's what you can find. Yeah. You ever shot the chicken link? Okay. Y'all need anything, you know. You know got you. <laughs> you got any products you got coming out? It's being a barber. Uh, you know, being around the celebrities, does it inspire you to get some products? Get, well, it got that's a good look. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, matter of fact, what was the fight just happened? My truck had broke down. So I called my insurance company. I'm like, hey man, I need somebody to come get me. What's that assistant? So it never showed up on me. So that inspired me to go open up me a truck truck. That's what's so up. So y'all be on the lookout for in town towing. That's right. So, hey man, Damn. we salute all Entrepreneur of all the way. You gotta have multiple ways of hustle, so I ain't even mad at you. Hell no. Nah. Well, you definitely got a home here, man. You can come back anytime you want. For sure. Memphis has been in the building. People, where can they find you? Man, you know you can find me on Instagram, Precise, P-R-E-S-I-S-E, one-on-one, underscore, stay on it. France, where can we find you? Hey, what's up? You can find me on Facebook and IG at official Queen France underscore. Cool. And you can follow the G4 Elite Show on YouTube at G4 Elite Show, on Instagram, G4 Elite Show, and on Facebook at the G4 Elite. 
unique show. And I'm Easy Numbers. We have my homeboy Memphis. Like I said, he'll pull up on you. That's the show, y'all. Thank y'all. That's it. Thanks, man. That's good. Hey.